think before you can get into the future of the juice, we got to go back to the beginning. I mean, visualize me, ninth grade, me and my best friends sitting beside each other. Uh, we used to put our math books on the outside and all our sports magazines on the inside. That goes football, basketball. We knew all the statistics, preseason, all Americans. This stuff was important to us. And of course, the teacher, wom, 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 trigonometry, divide this, divide that. And it's always me, Mr. Barnes. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Three minus nine. Shit, I don't know. LeBron James? Yeah, so, you know, the things we used to do is after basketball practice, we would walk home. And when we got home, the thing to do was to play NBA Live. That was the game. That's what we did. We went to school. We went to practice. And it's NBA Live. That's the way it goes until Mike's mom came and picked him up. So every time we sat down, it's like, okay, you know, let's go ahead and play the season mode, you know, and we can continue the season. I'm like, ah, I really don't like that. Let's do fantasy draft. Mike hated fantasy draft. He hated fantasy draft because he knew that mean he needed to think. The rules of the fantasy draft are simple. You got to create your player. Your player could only be at 80, and everybody else had to come out of free agency. They could not be a part of a team. So if they're free agents, you can take them. All the free agents on NBA Live were like 65. So I used to always pick Keith the boss claws and he used to get so mad why do you like people that are horrible and i'm like how's the all-time leading shot blocker in ncaa history terrible i don't care what he is he's seven foot 12 and he sucks his high socks make me sick i hate his stupid afro and i used to just look at him like what is the problem with keith claws he was like he sucks shaq gave him 91 points and i was like that never happened he was like, oh, you know, a guy can't do anything. He can't hit a hook, can't dunk, can't shoot, can't do this, can't do that. He used to be all over the room, ranting and raving about how terrible Keith was. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I picked Keith, and Keith would get, of course, nine blocks, win defensive player of the year. Our team would end up winning the championship. He's pissed. He slams my controller down, storms around the room. I'm sick of this. Keith can't play this good. You're cheating, da, 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 da. Leave the house. Next day at practice, he's ranting and raving to the stars about how terrible Keith Claus is. Keep in mind, we don't know Keith Claus. We're 14 years old. We're kids. We're children. We're children. We don't know anything about who Keith Claus is as a real person. All we know is NBA statistics, books, magazines. This is not the internet age. We didn't have social media. All we have is these books. So he is pissed. Fast forward. I become a professional athlete. I fly to LA. I play in the summer league and I also got to participate in the famous Drew League. I'm young. I'm a young guy. I'm 22 years old. I'm excited. I've never been out of the city of Atlanta. I'm here to prove myself. I'm not scared of nobody. Everybody needs to know who I am. And who do I see when I walk in the door? Uh, Keith the boss Claus. And I'm like, okay, do I run over there? Do, you know, do I shake his hand and say, Mr. Claus, you was always my favorite. This, this, and this. What do I do? I'll play it off, play it off, play it off. Be cool. Be cool like Andre 3000 Ice Cold. Just walk up. You know, you're a pro too. You know what? Fuck these people. You can do this too. Hey, get, you're a good player. All right, you know, the game starts. You know, I hit a couple shots. I'm feeling good about myself. And like Muhammad Ali always says, just run your mouth. It forces you to play better. So I'm trash talking. Nobody in this gym can guard me. This, this, and this. I ain't scared of nobody. Da, da, da. And then all of a sudden, a humongous hand grabs my head. And it said, young fella, shut the up. And I said, oh, what is going on? And I looked up in the heavens, and it was Keith the boss claws. He said, hey, country, if you want to make it out of L.A., just shut up and play ball. He looks at everybody on the sideline who must have been a blood and Crips mixture like a Kool-Aid jar. And I started to slowly realize that I was out of place and that my mouth would have got me in trouble. So he calmed everybody down and told them this is a good kid. He's just excited. You have to understand he's country. That's what he called me. I didn't have a name. My name was country. So afterwards, we went out to eat. I said, Mr. Claus, you was always my favorite player. 
It's an honor to be around you. It's an honor to meet you. It's this, it's that. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. Young fella, shut up. No problem. Whatever. And I said, Mr. Claus, my best friend hates your guts. I always defended you when I was a kid. He was like, what do you mean? I was like, we used to play NBA Live Fantasy Mode. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I said, I always picked you. And he says, you know, with the key flat, huh, huh, huh. Oh, that's great. I said, he was furious. He hated your guts. He was like, what I would I do to him? I said, I don't know. But he thinks you're the worst player to ever play basketball. You're worse than Kwame Brown to him. He says, you're a waste of air, a waste of space. He hates your socks. He hates your stupid afro. I'm telling him the whole story. So, Fast forward, me and Keith end up being super close friends. So Keith's 40, we're 35, right? We all go to Barcelona, Spain. This is recent. We go to Barcelona, Spain. We're all hanging out, you know, mingling around women, speech, all this, this, and this. And I said, hey, Mike, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. Look over. He said, it's Keith the Boss Claus. And I was like, yeah, man, can you believe it? It's Keith Claus. And Keith looked at him. He reached his hand out with the eyes of a child. We're not 35, keep in mind. We're right back at NBA Live time. And he says, it's an honor to meet you, Mr. Claus. And Keith looked at him and said, are you sure or do I effing suck? And Mike's face dropped. And me, stepping back in my Reggie Miller face, I'm looking back and forth like, what's about to happen now? This is great. This is great. Where's my camera when I need it? And he was like, Mr. Kloss, we were children. 